Welcome back. It is my pleasure to introduce our next guest from Cresta Villa Luxury Senior Living in Orange County, in Laguna Niguel, actually. Uh, we have Ann Rusco, who is the lead wellness assistant, and she's going to share with us a little bit about the new lifestyle that really is the focus of luxury senior living. I can tell you for sure, this is not my grandmother's senior living. So I'm excited to hear from Anne. And because we're all living in Laguna Woods and, and living pretty well, um, I love to know what's going on in other communities and bring that to you for yourselves, for others, for loved ones, for friends. So welcome, Anne. Thanks for coming. Good morning. To Thank you for having me. Oh, it's my pleasure. So tell us a little bit about Cresta Villa. Oh man, it's, it's, it's absolutely stunningly beautiful and yet warm. Um, the clientele, the team here, uh, you walk in, it's so beautiful inside. It is luxury living, but it doesn't feel cold. It's warm, it's welcoming, you know, from the smiles at the front desk and as you walk through the hallways, I know for me that was captivating and that's what I continue to want to give others. Well, you know what, for people who want to spend their days working anywhere and actually loving it, I think that's that's kind of the key is your testimonial to being in a wonderful place. So what's your what's your role with the residents at Cresta Villa? My role is to keep residents engaged, first and foremost, but also to make sure that families also feel comfortable with their loved ones living here with us. It's one thing to have a resident move in and make them feel safe, but you also want the family members to feel just as safe knowing that their loved one is here with us. Absolutely, and I, I know that Cresta Villa's philosophy around the art of living well is really what drives everything. So let's, let's, let's kind of dig down a little bit because honestly, I look for places to live too, I mean, it's, it's always interesting to see what the opportunities are that surround us now that perhaps didn't exist not so many years ago. So tell us tell us more about the, the way the philosophy really shows The, the way up. the philosophy is interpreted to me and how I live it is I want to bring everyone the best quality of life that they have. However you lived, wherever you lived prior to coming to us, my world is to make sure that you continue to live that and live it here with us. Just adapt it differently, but make sure that you can still get that. So what are some of the programs that you're actually engaged in on a regular basis with your residents? Regularly engaged with, uh, one of our favorites right now is a paint and sip. Um, we do, it is totally paint and sip. Um, every other Wednesday, we get a group together, we go on a Zoom. We do some painting. They bring in a charcuterie board, some wine. Everyone relaxes. We've been doing it for just over a year. It's very well attended. It's one of the fan favorites. Um, we also set, we also have blackjack now, which is gauged to different levels. Anyone can join and play. These programs that we're running right now, they can run during the day or evenings. So depending on daylight savings time or not, you can still do the programs that you love to do. We have exercise programs every day, sometimes twice a day from a, like a core. We can do yoga. We do balance. We can do a stretch. Just giving you everything. Outings. Oh, my gosh. Outings to museums now that the air is clearing now. Um, we're doing a lot more going into our communities for meals, art museums, whale watching, if you like. Um, we're going to put like the car going to Carlsbad. You've got to see the flowers that all these rains are bringing to you. That's so true. We do. And it's, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. Well, you all live in one of the most beautiful places on the planet, for sure. Truly. And there is so much to see, not only the horizon and the beach and just the view in general, um, but I understand that you actually did some painting classes on the beach. Yes, we did. We did an offsite trip last summer. We went to Dana Point. We put our paint kits together. There were around eight of us. We put our kits together. Um, the kitchen made us all like a bag lunch. We secured a table right over by the breakwater. Everyone just sat there, just did some free painting. 
it was wonderful. And what the really unique part about that is although it was the breakwater, the ocean, some trees, you know, of course you've got the little seagulls, but some of the residents actually were able to see like a boat in the back or someone doing um, boarding. And they just automatically put that into their painting. So it was nice to see not only did we step out, but they felt free enough to step out and see a little bit more and paint it. So yeah. that'll it's, definitely be something we do again. So it's a it's a what I saw and what I painted kind of a deal. Did anybody did anybody yes, it's under everyone's interpretation to what you see, but it's the elements that are around you that bring it together. Definitely. And that's well, everyone's open to interpretation in anything that they're doing. So offering so many programs and so many services to give everyone amazing choices. And I love that you really do focus on offering everything people were doing before and, and more. Absolutely. That's important. Yeah. And I, I think um, it's, it's not only rewarding. I know just in talking with you, even briefly before we came on air was, you know, the level and degree to which you are committed to the residents' happiness and satisfaction and everything that they're doing. So what are some of the, what's some feedback you hear from residents? Cause I know they share with you. They do share. Um, one of the best things I think we can do in any job that we do right now, any work level is listen. Uh, listening is so important and if you and they believe that you're listening then you build a trust and that's when you're going to hear what's really important and what's really needed and what you can implement and go with and so that that's what I'm hearing I'm hearing from the floor from the residents and from team members and my director that listen give us the feedback and we make it happen you know we really do make dreams come true it's not a selling line it's the truth we hear we make it happen You'll see it and we'll let you know and thank you. So yeah, it's just, it's like breathing. It's like breathing. That's, it's wonderful. It's really wonderful. Um, I know that for a lot of people choosing a community for a loved one or, or for ourselves over time um, can be a little bit confusing, but I want people to be able to get more information and, and be able to learn more about Cresta Villa. So how can they find out more? Uh, we have a, an online, you can go online and look us up. Um, we have an Instagram account. If you go on either and on our Facebook, if you go on to any of those links, you'll see the amazing things that we're doing here. We're continuously putting to make you feel that you're part of just the one you're looking at as you see what we do. Super. So, Anne Rusko, thank you so much for joining us. And thank we're going to post all the connecting, uh, the connecting dots for Cresta Villa and our viewers can contact you guys directly for more information but thank you so much for bringing the information to us today and by the way i have to say i just love the backdrop i love the paint cans i love that you're in the studio <laughs> and that we're talking about all these painting activities it all just feels like we're bringing it all together thank so, you thank you for sharing and we'll see you again have a great day thank you and we'll be right back